Good morning everyone. Welcome to your English class. Dear students, today we are going to do extra exercise of lesson number 3, Tine and the Faraway Mountain. Exercise A. Complete these sentences with the correct prepositions from the box. Dear students, as you can see that a box has been given and in that box different prepositions are also given. We have to use these prepositions to fill in the blanks. First sentence. We travel from Mumbai to Jammu every summer to visit our grandparents. In the first blank of sentence number one, we will fill from. And in the second blank of sentence number one, we will fill to. Preposition. To complete the sentence. Sentence number two. The duck dived into the water looking for food. Here in the second sentence we will fill the preposition into in the blank so that the sentence may be complete. Sentence number three. The boy walked across the bridge to a shop on the other side. Here in sentence number 3, we have used the preposition across to fill the blank. Sentence number 4. The crow flew down to pick up a biscuit from the gr ground. Here, in this blank, we have used the preposition down. The ship sailed out of the harbor slowly towards the middle of the ocean. Here we have used the preposition towards to fill in the blank. Now we will do our next exercise. Exercise B. Join these parts to form meaningful sentences. Dear students, as you can see that there are different uh, phrases and uh, words which are given in column A, B and C. We have to match these uh, columns uh, to form meaningful sentence. Firstly, we are taking number one sentence that is in column A. He began the job late. Now we will use the other word preposition from column B. Yet. He began the job late. Yet. Now we will select another uh, phrase from uh, column C. He completed it on time. Second sentence. The team will win. Now we will use the preposition from column B. If. Sentence number two. Will be the top batsman and Bowlers to do well. Sentence number three. The plant is growing quickly. Because it gets water and plenty of sunshine. Sentence number four. Would you like to stay longer? Preposition or leave soon sentence number five she is very caring and kind but she is quick to get angry we miss the train so we decided to take the bus dear students you will match your uh, Words and phrases in column A, B and C according to the, uh, this format and you will write down the sentences after matching these columns. Okay. Now we will move on to our next exercise. This exercise belongs to words and use, usage content. Exercise A. The words you need to use in these sentences are all from the text. 
use the hints in the brackets and try to complete the words without looking at the text. Each blank stands for a missing letter. Simon had to walk heavily. The word is trudge. Simon had to trudge up the hilly track for a mile and then stop to take rest. The school banned did not allow the word will be banned the bursting of fire firecrackers during the annual program any easily pointed out the word will be identified any easily identified the girl who had helped her cross the road the day before the travelers traveled the word will be journey. The traveler's journey across the desert to reach the capital of the kingdom. Sarah sat before her window all day listening to the sea waves crashing onto the rocks on the shore. The sound almost cast a spell on her. The word will be hypnotized her. Sentence number 6. Ashu's efforts were finally bore a good fruit, bore a good result. The word will be rewarded when he won the city's tennis tournament. Dear students, that's all for today. I hope you will complete your work in your fair notebooks. That's all for today. Thank you and have a good day.